This is an opportunity for an audience to see Garth Ennis style Punisher brought to life on screen with all the colors and all the action that they expect. We started off with a desire to feature as many colors as we possibly could to really almost go over the top. So I came with my colorful costume and Andrew came with color in the set and Steve had color with the light and it was too much. We noticed that the comic books, each frame on almost each page, they, you know, you will see only three colors. So I said, here's what we're going to do. Every location can only have three colors. Sometimes uh, red would be the primary color and then we'd pick complementary colors like brown and yellow or something that really played into a very minimal color palette. Myself, Lexi, and the production designer sat down and went through the script and decided, well, this scene should be more of a green hue, like the police station during the daytime is a green look. And the glass crusher has this uh, chrome orange sort of a tone to it. So that was, that was how uh, it came about and how we decided to choose on those things. It was almost uh, at times a color of emotion, depending on what's happening in the scene. Violence would be, of course, you know, reds and oranges and other moments that were, uh, I would say, more somber were cooler, blues and greens. And all of the sets in this film, I think, have a very unique character to them, and I think they reflect the characters in many instances, like the Russian gangs. Everything is green in that set, even down to the phone is green. For me, it's, it's, a, it's a unique design opportunity to keep a very limited color palette like that and to really, really have to study every set. And sometimes, even though I may like an object, you, you look at it in the set and you say, that has to go. Literally, we have call sheets that say the colors are amber, purple, and green today. And we're going to the point where, I mean, there, there can't even be a cup. I had fire hydrants painted, you know. I flip out if there's a little candy that has a different color. I'm like, oh, you know. And I think it worked for us. It's unique and it's really, I think it's very revolutionary.